everyone, thanks for checking out this week's video. Today we're going to be doing a challenge and it's going to be focusing on our speed and a bit of agility work as well. You're going to need eight markers, that can be socks, cones, t-shirts, whatever you can use to mark out the spaces. You're going to need a netball and you're going to need a timer. So it's going to work like this. You are going to be set five separate challenges. Each of those challenges are going to have different movements. You are going to set a timer for one minute or, if you really, really want to push yourself, 50 seconds. Within that time, you have to complete five rounds of the movements within the challenge that I'm going to give you. Five rounds equals one set. You're going to do your first set of the first challenge. You're going to rest. You should have to rest because you should be working at full pace that you need about 20 to 30 seconds to regain your breath, breath. And then you're gonna go again onto the second set. You then rest, you do your third set, you then rest, you then go on to your second challenge. So for every challenge, you're trying to beat the clock. So you're going as fast as you can, pushing yourself to the limit you can do it. So challenge one, you're gonna do a zigzag formation, sprint. You sprint, hit the marker, hit the marker, hit the marker. You do that there and back, that is one round. Again, remember, five rounds of each challenge equals one set. Okay, so once you've done three sets of challenge one, you're gonna move on to challenge two. This one is gonna make our feet move a lot faster. So we're gonna do it as a straight sprint, you're then going to have little markers and you're going to go in and out of these markers five times. You sprint, turn back, repeat. That's one round. Again, five rounds equals one set. Okay, so we're now on challenge three. You are going to set the markers up into a square. You're going to have four markers on the outside and one in the middle. You are going to do side steps this time. Fast, quick, little, remember we're going for speed. So you are going to go from the middle, out, hit the marker, in. Back to the next marker, back to the middle. To the next marker, back to the middle, next marker, back to the middle. That's one round. You've hit all four outside markers. So now you have to keep going and do five rounds to complete your one set. Okay, so that gets us to challenge number four. You're still working in your square. You still have a marker in the middle and four around the outside. This is where we're going to bring our netball into it. You are this time going to bounce the ball in the middle of the square. You are going to sprint, hit the outside marker, try and get hold of the ball in control, throw the ball in the middle, hit the outside marker, retrieve the ball and repeat to all four outside markers. Once you've done that, done one round again five rounds gives us the set see if you can beat the clock okay and that leads us to our last challenge our fifth challenge again we're keeping the square same distance as challenge three and four we are going to this time have to dribble the netball two times in between the middle marker the outside marker there hit the marker dribble it again two times back to the middle and then we do that for all four markers. That's one round, go again, get our five rounds. So just... And that's the end of our challenge. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember, tag us and let us know how you've got on. And like with any exercise that you participate in, make sure that you thoroughly warm up before you do this because we are going to be going really quickly, changing our speed.